The current Bay Area heat wave puts everyone at risk of dehydration, and that can be especially dangerous for the elderly. Joining us this morning is jo Dr. James Middleberger, Chief Medical Officer at the Centers for Elders Independence. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Quick question for you. What are the main hazards for seniors when the weather is this hot heading into this weekend? Good morning, Jessica. It's a great opportunity to help keep our, keep our seniors safe. The, the real hazard is heat, and the, the elders are more vulnerable to dehydration, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke. And the problem is it's sometimes very difficult to go to recognize going from being hot and feeling uncomfortable to what is called heat exhaustion, where you start to just feel extremely fatigued and less able to do things, and then heat stroke. And our elders are vulnerable for all pieces there. They have a decreased amount of uh, ability to recognize thirst. And they may also quickly transition. And if they can't get help quickly, they may be in big trouble. So we are taking all kinds of steps to protect people. And the, the recommendations we make for people, one, make sure that you are in touch with any elder in your community to make sure they're OK. Try and keep them cool, give them lots of fluids. A fan can help. Wet cloth to keep the temperature down can really mm -hmm. help. And then finally, you know, make sure that you can reach them. If think, people can go from being just hot to being confused and not able to get help. That's important, definitely. And you mentioned fatigue just a little bit earlier, but what are some other symptoms of heat-related illness in seniors that we should be aware of too? Yeah, great question. Actually, from heat exhaustion, quickly one can become confused. And this is especially serious if you have a low level of confusion at baseline. You may suddenly not be able to ask for help. And then the next step is really heat stroke. So that is probably one of the most important. People can stand up and faint. I mean, there's it, there are a lot of risks for people once they become too hot and dehydrated. The best solution is prevention, yes. hydration, cool, et cetera. That is definitely true. And of course, you mentioned it a little bit earlier too, but in other ways, if we do encounter an elderly person suffering from the effects of heat, what can we do to prepare for that? Or what can we do in that moment? Uh, well, uh, they may need to be hospitalized if they're showing signs of confusion, rapid pulse, they're not sweating. If people are just warm, they often may be sweaty, cool them off quickly, get them a cool cloth, some fluids, uh, get them to a cooler place with a fan. And if people are still, you know, looking good and making, uh, you know, not appearing too sick and getting better, they should be okay. That's heat exhaustion and mm -hmm. keep them cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for all that advice, Dr. James Middleberger. Thank you.